Now, this month has kind of been a sad month for YouTube. Uh, it was announced that they are going to be removing the public dislike count from all videos on the platform. Now, I could go into a whole 10 minute rant on why this is an absolutely horrible idea. Briefly gonna touch on that, mostly uh, the dislike button is a really good way not to completely waste your time. And now we don't have that metric. A lot of the times when I click on a YouTube video, the first thing I look at is that little ratio bar. And if it's too far in one direction, I think to myself, this is probably an absolute waste of time. I'm going to skip this. And an example of that is probably the most disliked video on my channel is this one right here. It's a super old video. It's an absolutely garbage video. But based on what you're saying, 23,000 views, 82 likes, okay, it might not be so bad. Actually, I should probably, there we go. It might not be so bad. And then you watch a couple minutes of it and you realize, wow, this is a horrible video. Uh, but when we look over here, we can actually see that this video has a 58% uh, like to dislike ratio. I uh, would have saved a lot of time knowing that. But luckily, there's actually a, a extension, a web browser extension for both Chrome and Firefox being developed that will allow us to see that public dislike button once again. And the extension is simply called Return YouTube Dislike. Now, right now, they are basing all their data off of the uh, YouTube API, but they're also going to be removing that data off the API on December 13th of 2021. So right now the information is fairly accurate, but when they do remove that information, it's not going to be nearly as accurate as it currently is. Uh, right here it says, with the removal of the dislike stats from the YouTube API, our backend will switch to using a combination of scrapped dislike stats and estimations from user data who are actually using this extension, and then providing estimates based on the view and like ratios with that data that they collect. So it's not gonna be 100% accurate, but it's going to be at least slightly helpful, especially if you're watching an old Older video that still has a lot of that data that has been publicly stored on their own API that was ported over from YouTube's. Now with all that said, we have a page here where you can see uh, more information on the actual extension. I'm running Firefox, so let's go ahead and uh, view this on the Firefox store. Now what I'm gonna do is go over to one of the worst videos ever created, just including the one that is uh, on the screen. Now we're gonna go to the Rewind 2018. This is the best example. This is the most disliked video on YouTube, and it is a, a well-deserved dislike video. It is truly sad that we did not get to see it publicly disliked 20 million times, but right here we see it has 3 million likes. That's a lot of likes. It must be a good video. Uh, let's go ahead and check up on this. So let's go ahead and add this extension to Firefox. Add it. There we go. Okay. Now let's just give this page a refresh here. Ah, there we go. That's looking much better. It did hit 20 million, so they might have actually uh, got it just in time. Beautiful. So again, this extension is really helpful, especially if you're somebody who uses YouTube to look up like coding guides, tutorials, things like that, because a lot of these types of videos with very high dislike ratios are either out of date, don't work, and it's just a good thing to have on YouTube, you would think. So if YouTube never backpedals, I do hope a lot of people end up using something like this to kind of still show us what is good and bad on the platform. And it's gonna be at this point that I'm gonna mention if you'd like to, you could go ahead and follow Tech Hut over on Odyssey. Here we will actually have a wonderful dislike counter. So if I go to this video, you can see, ooh, zero, nice. There we go, here's one with some dislikes. So at least these public counters are available. Uh, with all that said, I'd love to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome, and thank you to or thank you for watching this video. I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day, and goodbye.